Governor Cooper is in the tribe this evening meeting with emergency management responders as they clean up from Tropical Storm Michael. The governor is joining us live from Winston-Salem right now. Governor, thank you for talking to us. You've been around the state today. What is your reaction sure. to the damage you've seen? Well, there are a lot of storm weary North Carolinians out there. Hurricane Florence really gave our state a gut punch. But Tropical Storm Ma Michael came through here as well, and some parts of the Piedmont got hit worse by Michael than they did by Florence. A lot of flooding, a lot of trees down. Some people still don't have power. I'm impressed, though, with the emergency response. A lot of people were rescued from difficult water situations. We are sad that three people died as a result of this storm with vehicle dealing with vehicles and trees. And I want to tell people, remember that we have a number of roads closed. There's still some water out there and still some flooding. So be very careful when you're driving because if you drive through flooded roads or drive around barricades, you could lose your life. So continue to be safe. Governor Cooper, we're clearly still in hurricane season. How important is it for people to heed the warnings? We had several businesses, even a school district that stayed open. How important is it? Because we've heard you say it time and time again, listen up, get out when you can. Well, one of my concerns as Tropical Storm Michael came is that people would be so weary and tired of storms and floods that people would take it for granted. I don't think we did. I believe that our emergency response teams were on top of things. I know that this tropical storm took a, a westward tack when the prediction was that the storm would come more toward the eastern part of the state. And we got as much as seven inches of rain in Allegheny County, and we know we got some significant wind gusts. But I do believe that we can pull together and that we can recover. Uh, we have a lot ahead of us, particularly with rebuilding with F Hurricane Florence. But it's so important for us to realize that these kinds of storm events are going to continue to be with us. And as we rebuild, we need to be more resilient. We need to be smarter and stronger about the way we rebuild. I'm hoping that the North Carolina General Assembly will look favorable on the favorably on the proposal that I made uh, to make sure that we can recover from Florence. And as we try to assess the damages from Tropical Storm Michael, uh, we're hoping that we can provide a quick recovery from that storm as well. Governor, before we let you go, just kind of juxtaposing those two storms, you were out in the east for Florence and now we're here with Michael. What have you seen as the biggest differences between how those two storms impacted our state? Well, Hurricane Florence, uh, the damage it left was much more widespread and there was so much more flooding with that storm. When we look at the damage assessments from Florence, it's almost $13 billion in damages to our state. And when you look at the previous storms, Floyd and Matthew, Florence had more damage than those two storms combined. So Hurricane Florence is the most impactful storm North Carolina has ever faced. We're still assessing the damage from Tropical Storm Michael. Uh, we know we had some flooding and trees down and some damage here. I do believe that uh, we can get back on our feet quickly from Tropical Storm Michael. Uh, we got to provide help where we can, but we have a huge rebuilding uh, effort ahead of us with Hurricane Florence. And I believe that with North Carolina, and our unshakable will and people's determined nature that we can get it done. All right, Governor Roy Cooper, thank you so much for talking to us live from Winston-Salem. Well, neighbors and homes are devastated after trees were ripped out of the ground. Hundreds of thousands of people are still in the dark tonight. We want to go first to Brianna Connor live along the Yatkin River. Brianna, what's happening there right now? 
Well, Talitha and Jared, we are seeing a bit of progress. This river is receding and I'm standing on a step that I wasn't able to stand on just about an hour ago. So uh, it's clear that this river got way out of its banks last night. It crested around eight o'clock. I think the best indication of how high the water got is this line behind me. You see where the trees go from brown to green. That delineates how high the Yakin River got as Michael hit this area, dumping rain. We're told that the water did not, however, get into anybody's home or business, and that's the good news. But if you look, you can see this river has a current. Things are floating down really quickly. In fact, there's a sign in front of us that says it takes about five and a half hours to get to Tanglewood from here by canoe. I'm willing to bet it would take maybe half that time to get there now with how quickly that current is moving down the Yadkin. But again, things are getting better moment to moment out here as the river goes down. Down. Other people in the Piedmont Triad are dealing with damage that they have to clean up. Our Kirsten Gutierrez is in Rockingham County to bring us some of those stories. Kirsten. Brianna, like you said, I'm here in Rockingham County where two homes were crushed by oak trees. Let's just take a look. This is the Simpsons home. The tree just went midline right through the middle house. Just take a look at that. It's kind of breathtaking just how much damage they actually face. Now let's look at the base of this tree. It's just gigantic. It's pretty huge. Just look at how big the roots are just coming straight out of the ground and just, you know, to give you a bit of perspective, I'm around five, nine and I'm pretty tall and this is this is pretty big. Now let's look at this other one. A total of four oak trees came down, uh, two of which I believe are right here. One or two are back over there, but just take a look at this oak tree that came down. Just pull up some utility, some utility lines. Not sure what they are, but just look at that sheer force that this these huge trees have. Now the Simpsons say they are trying to get crews out here to clean up this mess and and repair what they can right now. But they say that they're going to need a crane to lift these oak trees out because they're just gigantic. Now coming up at six, if you think these are big, wait till you see what we have to show you on the other side at the other neighbor's house. But for now, live and rocking. County Kirsten Gutierrez, WXI 12 News. Kirsten, thank you. We know a lot of people are dealing with that tree damage. We know there are still some traffic signals that are out and a lot of people still don't have power at their homes or businesses. So again, we're in the preliminary stages of cleanup, probably going to take another couple of days before things get back to normal in the Piedmont Triad. For now, I'm Brianna Connor in Yadkin County, WXII 12 News.